Where are you? Oh, there you are out there. You look pretty fuzzy. How do I look? Tell you what, I have two questions for you to answer. One, who was John Logie Baird? Two, what is he famous for? Who was John Logie Baird and what did he do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Actually, he was one of the many people responsible for inventing television. His television apparatus was a strange looking device. Here he is, Baird himself, a Scottish engineer, with the apparatus. You'll notice that it has a large disc with little holes in it, in a spiral. That disc was invented last century by a man called Paul Nipkow, a German inventor. And he had suggested that by using a disc such as that, you could break up a picture into lots of separate little bits and pieces and then rebuild it again. Baird showed publicly that it actually worked. That was in 1926. The first image shown on television was a ventriloquist dummy. But shortly after, Baird actually used a human face. And he chose Mr. William Tainton. And the picture looked something like this. Tainton himself didn't look quite like that. In fact, if I show you a photograph of him, you get an idea of what the gentleman looked like. That was Tainton, the first person, the first human face to appear on television. Well, in the 1930s, people in Europe and America were experimenting with other television systems. And in fact, they used electronic means rather than mechanical whirring discs. Baird himself used electronic systems, and here he is with one of his later television sets. Well, in 1936, the BBC used an electronic system, a different one, to broadcast the first live television service. And today, we have television all around us. If we could see inside the television cameras, we'd notice things like these. This is a, an old black and white television tube, the thing that converts pictures into electronic impulses. Here's a much more modern colour television camera tube. They're both vacuum tubes. They have very little air inside them. And for that reason, they're dangerous. And here's a television tube that you get inside a receiver, a television set like yours at home. Also very dangerous. If you dropped it, it would implode. That means break inwards. Very dangerous. That's why it has such a thick layer of glass on the front. Well, that's television, something that we all take for granted. But we wouldn't have it if it weren't for very clever people such as John Logie Baird. <laughs>